Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to install Active MQ and how to set up a Active MQ broker and how to use it. Okay, uh, so what is Active MQ? Active MQ is a message broker so which we can use uh, for sending a uh, publishing and consuming the messages. Uh, so here we need to come to for Active MQ Apache.org. So there we have later sources of downloads here. So I'm uh, selecting to point 1.9. Okay, we need to just download the 2.1.9 zip, zip thing, so which I've already downloaded in my local and unzipped it. Once you, are, once, once you uh, unzip it, uh, go to bin folder, go to bin. Uh, you have any uh, a batch file which we use to create a broker now, which we use to create a broker. So let's open the command prompt here. Run the, uh, run the command to create a batch file. So to get a broker in Apache MQ. Okay, so first uh, this is the command which we need to use uh, for create a broker and this command is used from uh, 2.18 and above. So paste it and uh, my broker name is I am creating a test uh, broker test broker as a name. Okay, just click on it. Uh, default username, I'm giving it as a test. Default password, I'm giving it as a test. It will not show the entire what you entered, but still you need to enter it. Click enter. It was, uh, do you want to uh, anonymous access? No. So definitely we need to enter our credentials on every request. Okay, so my broker has created, uh, my test broker has created under the bin folder. So if you see the bin folder here, test broker has created, test broker has created. If you go to the test broker, uh, you will be having a bin folder, you will be having a bin folder. In bin folder, you will be having the uh, two, two uh, exe file and a batch file. So which will, which will, when you run it, it will install as a, uh, if you run this command, it will install your uh, 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 your broker as a service. When you start it, it will start your uh, uh, service. Okay. Uh, now uh, we'll, we'll start, uh, uh, we'll install our broker now. And it will install as a service as well. So we can make use of the service as a window service and we can start and stop from your services. Uh, now already I am already in uh, bin folder, so cd space, test broker, test broker, yeah, test broker and cd bin. From cd bin we have already have a command here, so run the copy this command. Copy this command to install. It will install. So access denied. Uh, if you get this access denied operation, then open command prompt as run as administrator. Run as administrator. So it will open background. I'm closing on command prompt. Okay, uh, go to the drive. See. Uh, CD space, uh, I'm copying my path, yeah, we came into the path now, now with the same command what uh, it asked us to run, so this is our command which we need to run, so marking it, copying it, Pasting in command prompt, command prompt uh, uh, window, command, uh, command, run as administrator command, uh, command prompt, click enter. So now it has to install. Yeah, it was installing your service with ID double zero double zero. It was installed. Okay. So now, uh, if you want to run your service. Uh, 
from which will start your service now. So it is starting the service now. It will show you on which port it was installed and uh, how to access this player. I will show you that. Let us start. So it is deploying Apache Active Mixer Broker. Installing uh, Apache, Apache Active Mixer Broker. So send. Yeah. So now it was up and you can access the Apache Broker now. So can you see the port number here? HTTP uh, HTTP 81 click on console. So let's go to that port to see Apache broker install in the machine. Go to Chrome, open, create your service. So it's HTTP protocol where we can use of that uh, login. This tool, this application will help us. Uh, to monitor the application, to monitor your queue, to monitor your uh, uh, brokers. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we came to the Apache management console now. This is Apache management console. Uh, so here it will show you the number of details, it will show you all the details of your uh, uh, queues and addresses. So if you come to the queues, uh, we don't have any queue created. So if you want to create a queue, uh, click on queues. Expand this. Click on this. Now you will have a queues option. Click on more. Come to the click on addresses. Click on queues. Select the queues. Click on more. You will have a create address. If you want to create a queue, just uh, expand your uh, queues, uh, DL, DLQ or something, any queue. Now click on this thing, now you will have a create queue. Okay, just create queue. I am creating a queue as uh, uh, my first queue. Okay, so I am making it any cast. Uh, create user. So if you want to add any filter, so it's a durable. Um, no, uh, when the no messages, when the no consumers, just to generate all the messages. If you check this box, yeah, I created my uh, uh, queue now. If you go to the queues, it will show you uh, our queue name as well, my first queue. Okay, so the first queue. Uh, so if you want, from here also, we can send a message. Uh, if you want to send a message, yeah, we can send a message here from here. So for that we need to do the API, uh, here we directly can send a message, you need to type a message, text message, you need to set the format, what you want, text and JSON, and you need to send the message, if you want to create a message ID, you can send the message. And uh, if you go to the queues, you have a queue name, so it will show you the, all the details here. Uh, uh, durable, true, number of, uh, no it's false, number of consumer count, so we don't have no consumers now. So it's zero number of message count so then we have a message count as also zero okay yeah this is how we need to install and set up uh, uh, to mq friends in next video we will see how to send a message to queue and uh, we'll see how to consume a message for the queue thanks for joining